there is uh, a combination let's uh, le let's say between some friends uh, youtubers metal youtubers in a whole in the whole world about their meaningful albums of, of their metal life and when we speak about meaningful albums let's say that they are not the only favorite albums of them okay and uh, maybe they are not the most beloved albums of course they are beloved albums but uh, i think that we have even more beloved albums and even more favorite albums the whole thing about when we speak about meaningful albums we are speaking about these albums when they came in our earlier, earlier uh, life uh, as teenagers they put to us something so special about them and about the whole metal scene so I will try to speak about my 20 let's say meaningful albums of uh, for for me and together with this maybe I will speak also about four uh, uh, albums more okay let's start and I will put these albums not in a, in a particular uh, place okay first of all I'm starting with Candlemas and their masterpiece their first album Epicus Dumicus Metallicus my first also doom metal album that I listen secondly Exodus and their first album Bodied by Blood for me until now this is the, the best thrust metal album of all the ages and then continue with the thrust Sepultura their first album that I listened from them and this is also the first thrust metal album for me and the first album that brought me inside extreme metal to speak about beneath the remains of Sepultura. One of the first death albums that I can connect with the death with death metal. Okay, and I know it is even a little bit more, more progressive. I'm speaking about symbolic death symbolic. Now, when I became a metalhead in the years 94 95 and i was uh, 1994 1995 i was a teenager in greece and in these years in greece we had a very big power metal scene so i started to be even more connected with power metal afterwards became even more thrusher and today i can say that also i like very very much black metal I listen everything from metal okay i'm speaking about generally and always always i i love epic metal but uh, okay for this reason in this list i have many power metal albums so grave digger from germany and their album tunes of war and then continue with power metal or oh, us power metal Sabotage, if I'm preferred uh, correct, Hall of the Mountain King. Iron Maiden, one of the, one of the most favorite bands of favorite bands for me, together with Manowar and Slayer. Iron Maiden and the album that I like even more from Iron Maiden is their second album Killers but in any case the most meaningful album for me is this Somewhere in Time Slayer 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 and their album South of Heaven South of Heaven and let's say for many years I I was afraid uh, in the beginning I was afraid to uh, to come to be connecting with Slayer I didn't know if they were Nazis not Nazis as a Jew and uh, as uh, some someone that my family uh, died uh, and uh, murdered in Holocaust in Auschwitz 
Yes, I had problem with all these things about the song Angel of Death, and for this reason I'm not, I was not sure in these years, but afterwards, when, when I understood that uh, Slayer, they're not Nazis, they're not anti-Semites, and they're not Holocaust deniers, not at all, and I started to be connected with Slayer, this is the album, this is the album, South of Heaven, and today I can say that this is one of my favorite bands. Next, Bathory. Bathory and their album Hammerhead. Dimu Borgir. Yes, I know. I started to listen to black metal by these bands. Okay, Bathory is something very special, but also bands that are not Norwegian. Yeah, the pure of Norwegian Orthodox black metal. Dimu Borgir, they are from Norway, Norway, but with this album and Throne Darkness Triumphant. And if we continue with black metal, dissection, and the second masterpiece, Storm of the Light's Bane. Manowar. Manowar and their album, Hail to England. Queen's Reich. And here, here is, this is not exactly a studio album, this is the first EP of them. Queensryche. Annihilator from Canada and their album King of the King. Megadeth and their album Countdown to Extinction. Iced Earth. Iced Earth and their album Burnt Offerings, and excuse me, they don't have uh, the original cover art, the red cover art, but this is what I, I have now. Blind Guardian, and their also favorite album of me, Imaginations from the Other Side. Paradise Lost. And their album, Draconian Times. Metallica. Metallica. And their album, Black, the, the Black Album, the famous Black Album. Okay, the Metallica Album. Uh, okay, this is also the third album that uh, I listen from Metal. So it's very inside my heart. But together with this, I will say that I have another also meaningful album of Metallica. The Spring About Kill Em All, their first album. <sighs> Skycled. Skycled and the album Prince of the Poverty Line. And let's say this was the first ever metal album that I listened. From here, I start to be a metalhead. Okay, from this special album. So, this is the most meaningful album for me. And together with all these albums, I will speak also a little bit about three albums more Dancing, the second album of them, Luffy, uh, Luffy, Lucy Feuds of Dancing 2, the second Dancing. Board Thrower and their album Mercenary. And last but not least, least but not last, <laughs> an album that this is not exactly a studio album, this is a live album. For me, is the most favorite live album together with Life, of De uh, Life After Death of Iron Maiden. And then speak about hypocrisy and their live album Hypocrisy Destroys Waken. So this is uh, this is it about let's say my uh, favorite meaning and even more than favorite my meaningful albums of the of when I was a teenager. 
and uh, these meaningful albums they are meaningful until now this was not a, a simple list to make and i can say that each of these albums has its its influence to me to my uh, musical taste and style until today so from israel and from jerusalem stay metal and stay heavy and stay home